hello! Hello, welcome to World of Warcraft, and today, oh, I'm fitting back again, sorry about that, uh, I was, yeah, I was watching, uh, I was watching, watching Twitch quite a lot recently, because uh, I discovered more other people who also stream coding, which is amazing, so, um, but anyway, this is World of Warcraft, and you see that today we have a brand new you know, um, things that I'm showing very, very big here because um, today's a special episode to celebrate the launch of Terminus 2.0. So um, basically, uh, we worked very, very hard to uh, make this happen, uh, to make this, you know, um, the things is working. And um, we have, you know, uh, this brand new console that uh, is it's there so if you want to try out i will show you how you can do it. like so you can see a brand new terminus tv server here you know it's so shiny we got a new banner here it's almost like a rainbow it's super beautiful and um so yeah the the, the server is now updated it provides more cool features that we could now um i would try to show you in a bit that we could now we have commit you know um every transaction is a commit so we can uh, basically roll back, uh, we can move forward, we can collaborate, we can merge. Um, so basically it's, it's now like Git. Uh, and uh, in the future, not too far away future actually, uh, we would launch Hub, so it's kind of be like GitHub. So you can, you know, um, have all these data that would be, you know, um, you can collaborate with each other. That would be very, very cool. And um, yeah, so, uh, so so this is, well, it's a little bit like unboxing video here because uh, I just, pulled down yesterday and uh, because uh, my my work uh, is mainly on the Python client which we are working very hard uh, on it right now so hopefully next week during the world of Wacklecraft we can use our uh, shiny new uh, Python clients to do more crafting so um but yeah today I'll just give you a tool and then we'll try a little bit of the of the code that uh, we you know um, that we we have done before that you know the bike example that we have done before we try to see if uh, if you know what is the change of the new uh, new Waco queries. So first of all, I think uh, well uh, well this is this login thing first of all like first thing first it's like for hub. So um, right now we yeah we, uh, it's invitation only. So um, if you so hub is not public yet. So that's why this is not actually. Uh, you know, I won't show you today. Uh, of course, I'm invited, but uh, I, you know, uh, but because it's not public, so I won't show you today. Um, so we have all these like uh, this brand new buttons here that uh, you know we can now we can copy an existing database because you know well in Git you can clone things, so this is super cool. But we'll just create a database. So click on it and see what happened. Oh, now we got more choices. Uh, create a local database or create a term create on terminusdb.com. So this is basically like GitHub. You can create create a, a remote repo um, online. But like I said, Hub is not public yet. Uh, we are still working very hard, so we would uh, launch Hub very, very soon. So now uh, all the features are on the local machine. So let's create a local database and it's only locally accessible. So if you're working on something like private project or you, your data is private, then you uh, better choose uh, this option. Uh, but if you have open data, of course, you're welcome to put on uh, you know, help and it will be free if you have uh, opened, you know, a data to share. So yeah, so let's create a local database. So now we have this like very very cute cow deck here. It basically would uh, give you some knowledge if you click on it. So it would yeah, it would kind of give you a hint of uh, what you can do with this. And uh, so when you see a cow duck, it basically is. Well, it's, I don't want to put this analogy, but you remember, like, if you are like me, old enough to remember the older version of Microsoft Word, you got this like little um, paper clip there <laughs> that you know I could give you hint and stuff. So, um, so yeah, so it's like like those things, but but we are cuter. We have a cow duck, and it's less annoying. So, <laughs> yeah. So first of all, create. Oh, the base idea. Okay, so let's try try to put bike tutorial. Oh, we can't use spaces. Okay. Yeah, and database name I can put, you know, uh, capitalize up uh, tutorial. Oop. So yeah, this is a, uh, you know, a name. This is like before a right? description. Uh, trying the new terminus DB console. Yeah, 
That's cool. You can put SK out here if you want to. <laughs> uh, but or, or emoji, but I'm not going to do that. Um, oops. Uh, yeah, oh, I, I screw up my screen, sorry. Um, okay, so uh, go to advanced. Uh, well, we can have a look at the advanced setting. I won't mess with them, but uh, we can have a look. And uh, create schema graph. So yeah, you, you want this, uh, please. Like, uh, don't don't mess with it if with like, without good reason. Yeah, because, you know, it's uh, for your database to work, you need a schema graph. Um, uh, without a schema graph, you can't really like store data, um, you know, properly. But you can actually create a schema-free database, um, but it will be very tricky. Uh, there will be some like, uh, so this is more for advanced users. Uh, so the default option is for, 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 for like other other users, not, not the advanced ones. So uh, base URL. So um, yeah, so, well, you could design your own base URL if you want, but uh, the default is usually good if you're using locally. And also for schemas as well, uh, you just want to stay with the default but this is all like uh, you know customizable so if you have you know a more complex data pipeline um like if you want to do stuff with more you know um more control then of course you can do this uh, but we are not we're just trying out today so create new database Ooh, wow we have this beautiful beautiful um a yeah, beautiful uh, dashboard here now. That kind of, this doesn't look like a dashboard. It's, it's a, yeah, but you can do a lot of things with it. So, wow, this is much more, uh, much better. Like, uh, it's very clear that like what you have, you know, and uh, you have now, oh, you, oh, you have the branches. So that's why you have the origins is local. So you have two graphs because one is the schema. Uh, one is your actual graph. So there'll be two things there. And what else do we have? We have a user. Well, we, we, you can collaborate now with with other people, but we are only using the desktop client, so it's only me is using it. Oh, you can create branches. <laughs> and um, yeah, we have the bike. Yeah, so this is all the information here. What can we have? Also oh, collaborate. Yeah, you can link it up with Hub. But yeah, it's coming soon. The cow, cow is telling you it's coming soon. Uh, we'll have that very, very soon. And so, yeah, you can do all this stuff, you know, like a push and pull and uh, create a pipeline. That's super cool. That's very excited. I wish that is coming faster. Like, please, like, make it happen. Um, merge, uh, manage. Yeah. So we can, uh, we can, you know, create a new branch. Mm. But l now we have nothing there. So maybe I, I would do it afterwards after we have created something. We can, you know, merge branches, uh, backup and restore. Mm, this is super useful. And of course, well, you can delete it if you want. So let's 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 play play with it. So we have only have one branch here, the master branch. So that's why we can't change it uh, here. And oh, this is the time traveling. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we haven't created anything. So there's only one commit. It's the initial one. And we got the timestamp of now. So this is uh, when we created it. So we got a timestamp of when it's created. And uh, you can hide it. Oh, this is super cool. I really like this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's the thing. We also have like documents and uh, the queries. So this is a oh, query. Is, yeah, this is like what we had before, right? So you have one thing you can, you know, put in your query. Now the result result is in another page. But well, I'll show, show it off later. Uh, we have the schema and we have the, the documents. So this is like before, but this is cooler. And you can see the owl here. Yeah, this is uh, much, much better in my opinion. And you see all the graphs is here as well. Like you can see, they have the instance and the schema graph. And these are the prefix. You can have a look. Super organized. And yeah, like uh, we have nothing here now, so it's not that exciting. So let's let's try to put something. So I do believe that because uh, when we are working on this one, uh, the new release, uh, we do have a uh, new uh, blog post that, uh, that is kind of like updated. Oh, actually, we have it in the documentation. So how about I show you the, the new documentation? So let's go to terminusdb.com, right, and uh, documentation. Oh, oh, the CSS is not working. I have to, oh, okay, yeah, I have to refresh it because uh, I have, I still have some old things st stalling in my browser. So, but now it's working now. And, uh, and uh, yeah, wow, this is, uh, this is super cool. We, we put a lot of work in it. So I hope that now it's like easier to understand what's going on. Uh, you know, you can, 
check, you know, we, we have created the, the quick start uh, section for people who are new to Terminus DB. So it contains all the information that is interest, you know, interesting to you. Like, for example, we have the quick start tutorial here. Um, you know, uh, where is the tutorial? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, quick start tutorial here, you know, uh, that we, we got to follow this one to, uh, to, you know, to yeah, create the bike tutorial again. Um, but uh, that's for later. Let's let's have a quick look at the doc new documentation as well. So it's also have this comparison with other tools. So um, yeah, so it's it's very good, very good. Like uh, yeah, like it's a it's a team effort. Like we put lots of effort in it and got other tutorials. So some of them are still for the old version, but we got to update it like uh, you know very soon. We have also have contributors uh, tutorial here. So if you have a very cool tutorial, let me know. I'll put your link here. You know, we'll link it uh, to to your tutorial. Um, and user guys like more of a deep dive of what's going on. So if you want to understand more about the schema, let's say this is a very detailed like uh, you know explanation of what's going on in in a in a schema. And um, so, yeah, and also the you know API references, this, this would go to the documentation of different clients. So unfortunately, the Python client is uh, is old, so uh, we will have the new one soon. Uh, but we do have the JavaScript client, uh, you know, that, um, you know, is, is all like working with the new one. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah, the Python client will be coming, coming very, very soon. And uh, we still, you know, um, you know, finding like you know all the edges you know we're working crazily like for that and um yeah if you want to contribute where well, you can find all the information here and release notes so this is like what comes in here so this is like something that you may want to read uh, is like what is the new thing about Ch terminus D db 2.0 the new stuff yeah the client is coming soon we are still like you know uh, improving it uh, much better so right uh yeah so this is basically, uh, you know, um, what we have for the new documentation. I, I hope you like it better. If you have comments, uh, let me know. If you found anything wrong, also let me know. Uh, we would uh, try to fix it because, uh, yeah, we we still like, you know, like we said, like we are still, you know, sending all the, those the edges. So your contribution is like really help, like you know, letting us know what's going wrong is also a contribution. So, yeah, and um, so. Uh, let's go to our uh, getting started tutorial with uh, console here. So we have already created the database. It's, it's very nice and we can create a schema. So, okay. So uh, first of all, I think I would do the old thing that I would, uh, you know, copy and paste in the, oops, in the console here. So we can go to query and uh, like what we did before. Yeah, now it's like super nice. Uh, it's well, I hope it's big enough for you to see, or I can make it bigger actually if I could. But like, but if I make it bigger, it would you know go over the screen. So it's like yeah, okay. So now you can see the new thing is that we don't need a when anymore. In fact, you can actually just like um, chain all this stuff. But yeah, let let's keep it like this for now. So with we don't need the when anymore. So. Uh, now Waco is smart enough to uh, to understand that it's an update of the schema, so um, so basically it's, it's less thing to type, which is great, and um, yeah. So uh, also now uh, you have to because like I said, every transaction is a um, is a new commit, so you have to have a commit message. So I would just create like uh, creating schema. Yeah. So uh, we could ooh, add a new query plane, and uh, oh no, so this is not it's run query. <laughs> yeah, oops, what's going on here now? It's a, uh, I think it's successful, is it? Well, this is new to me, like I said before. So maybe like, yeah, yeah, it's return one second, uh, one rec record. So this is like our blue, a uh, blue box before that uh, is showing that is this uh, successfully um executed. And um, yeah, so uh, so there's no result because like this is an update. It's not a you know a query, so um, that's normal, normal behavior. Oh, and it's safe here. Remember before that when we go away, we have to you know uh, we have to type it again. So this is cool. It shows you like it's uh, how many things are deleted and how many things are created. Insert 34. So we insert 34 things. Nothing got deleted. And yeah. 
Well, this is super cool. I think this is much better. Also, this one I'm curious. Oh, you can use Waco Pi now! Yay! Um, so yeah, you can write in uh, in Python on console now. So Pythonista, good news, good news for you. And now you can do it in uh, in our console with Python. We love Python. Um, so this is super nice. And um, well, you can write in JSON LD as well. And I think it will translate to JSON LD. Yes. And uh, oops, edit this version. Run query. Oops, this is a bit. Uh, oh, because I can come in here to okay. So I can preview it and see if I like it. So yeah, this is the Python version, but like, uh, yeah, but this one is like, like I say, it's unroaded. So everything is like down to, uh, down, down one level. So it's not at the top level. So let, let me go back to, to the, the JavaScript and like, uh, paste it there and, you know, oop. oh, edit this version. Okay. Now this is different. Okay. So, uh, I want to edit this and, uh, put it back. Let's see how we, it, well, it translates to the Python one. Okay. So, oops. Oh, it's not directly translated to Python yet. It go to JSON LD first, I believe. Or, or do I have to save it or something? Okay. Okay, this <laughs> this is funny. Like, why it's not working? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I broke it. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, at least we have the schema. Let's have a look at the schema. Okay. So, um, right. So we have uh, the you know. Uh, three classes like before. This is exactly like what we've done before. Um, and now you can see the see it's like in a very nice way. You have you can see the children's and abstract and um, properties. You have all these properties. They're all like belongs to the journey. And um, I think one thing that I'm thinking like I may need. Uh, we may, may I may want the order of this to be not alphabetical order, but like the order of like uh, what I care about was not because like. Yeah, I mean, we we'll want the name to come first, or the ID to come first, or, or yeah, so, or the, or the, yeah, I mean, one ID to come first, and then a name and description, so maybe we want to reorder them, and uh, owl, yay, yeah, this is super neat, and graphs, ooh, yeah, it's still the same graphs, can we look at the, no, we can't, okay, so if you create a new graph, then you can see it here, and um, yeah, so this is the same, this is super cool. And what else do we have? Uh, so we, we can I insert some data. Yes. So let's go back to the query here. And uh, let's see what do we have here. And go to documentation and get the script. So uh, there isn't much changes in the, you know, in the, uh, the loading script. So, well, it still works like before, but the catch is that now because we don't need the when, so we can actually use the end to link up everything. So um, so this is like before. So we have the, you know, remember this is the insert. So we don't have to use a uh, when to link it up before. So, well, let, let me grab grab the whole, whole script. That's easier to explain. Okay, let me grab this thing right here. Oh, ah, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, okie dokie, okay. This is the whole script of the of the input, uh, yeah, the inserting the data. So uh, now, so I would do some uh, editing here. So like because we don't need the input anymore, I can just like wrap everything with an N. So how about I take these two out, and I just don't need this, and um, and I'll just use an N here to uh, wrap this up. How about that? So in theory, this should work. Let's try. Uh, oh, we have to put a reason for update, which is the commit message. So this is inserting data. Yep. And run query. Oops, there's something wrong. Oopsie. Yeah, maybe. Oh, but CSES, right? No, it's not. Maybe some indentation thing or um, what's wrong? Hmm. I don't know why. So, okay. So let's don't be too advantageous and run the old script first and make sure that it works before we uh, do something crazy. Okay. So let's run this one. Okay. Oh, where is the, okay. Scroll up and run it and yeah, it works. So yeah, I, I'm just being too advantageous and change stuff. Um, but yeah, you can see that, uh, yeah, it's the same thing as we have before. Uh, we have, you know, the bikes and bike labels, these journeys and stuff. So this is a little bit too big, I think, because I zoom in. 
So this is a little bit too big. Or if it's too, like, if you have too many data, you can still, like, you can now scroll, you know, go to different pages by using the arrows at the bottom there. You can also look at the graphs. And, ooh! <laughs> yeah, we got all the graphs. It's still there. It's still there. It's, it's still interactive, which is cool. And uh, table. I think the real script, we're still working on it. Uh, we are still polishing them. But um, yeah, but basically, it will just work like before. And we also have a. Uh, let me see if I can. Okay, let's, let's uh, have a look at the time travel thing, okay? So um, let's see. So, okay, so we are now here. So, what happened is that. Oop. What happened? Whoa. Oh, there's like, oh, all this crazy stuff. I think this is like when I make the error. Let's look here, okay. This is what happened if I go here. That, you know. Oh, what's going on? Okay, this is creating schema, but like, why are you showing me all this stuff? So maybe, let me refresh and uh, try it again. Yeah. Let me try again. And, um,. Yep, so this is inserting data. So what's before? Oh, you can see that it's like creating schemas here. So now if I am just creating a schema, I should have no documents, yay. So yeah, time travel works. So now we only have the schema and we don't have any documents because now we just created the schema. We haven't created the document yet. So actually now, like for example, if you want to delete everything, so let's, okay, let's uh, go back to yeah, go back to the, the latest and let's do some crazy stuff. Okay, so now we, oh, oh where's my data? Setting data, is it like, do I have to refresh it or? Right, maybe I have to refresh it, let's see. Yeah, like that's a little, little tiny thing that like you have to refresh to make it to work. <laughs> and um, yeah, it would be nice if like it automatically updated and uh, we'll see how, how it's like. It's just tiny things that we, it's like it works better. And um, yeah, so let's let's try to be crazy and delete everything <laughs> and time travel back. Okay, so uh, Waco, we can actually write in Waco Pi. Let's see if it works. Can I write? Why is it gray? It's so funny. Okay, let's try write in Python to see what's going on. Okay, oop, oop, I can't. Okay, so maybe because yeah, it's like uh, it's not working yet. So. Uh, yeah, Python's not. Oh, I oh I have to click this edit. No, but that's nothing. Oh, maybe it doesn't want me to use Python. Okay, so that's fine. I can write in JavaScript. Uh, why not? Delete a triple. So it should be any uh, anything that I could delete. So it could be uh, a b. You know, um, this is any object. You know, uh, any. Uh, any predicate, any, oops, this should be a small v here, Oop. and any, so it delete all the triples here, and, uh, oh, I haven't do the, no, 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 uh, oh, yeah, I, I can't do that because I can roll back. Now it's like, it's, you don't have to worry about that, yay, because, uh, yeah, I, will, I still have to show you how to make the query. Um, I'm just like super excited to to mess around with the time traveling features. <laughs> and okay, so let's try to delete everything and run query. Oh, uh, there's an error here. E yeah, maybe there's a, a bug here. Delete triple. And uh, an error. Oh, I, I I haven't typed in a message. I want to delete everything. Yeah. Everything. Do you want me to? Can I do that, please? Pretty freeze. Why is he saying that is an error? Okay, I don't know why. And yeah, I should be able to do that. And uh, hmm, let me refresh and see what's going on here. And uh, yeah, let me delete everything again. Uh, oh, I can show you the select first. Okay, let let's show let's uh, show what we have at the moment first. So we should still be able to see all this. So uh, 
less you know oops yeah those, these are all the documents here and uh so we gotta select uh, everything so wako dot uh so i will show you the uh, you know the yeah this is the query to show us uh, what we have in the database so let's let's show you this first before we go crazy okay yeah so this is um you know we we still it's still you know it's, uh, we can still do a query and we can still look at it uh, in a graph <laughs> yeah i love look look at other dots thing so um yeah so let's uh, update oh there's no update here so i don't need to yeah i don't need to type the message so yeah only the the uh, the query that need the you know that is committing that's making the changes need to uh, type you know things here so okay let, let's try deleting it again Let's triple and I want to delete everything. Yeah, and actually, like now, what I want, you know, I will tell you what what I want is a dark mode because uh, my eyesight is not that good because I've been staring at the screen too much and this like uh, this is too bright for my eyes to see. So I want a dark mode actually. Um, so that would be the next thing that I really want. Uh, okay. Okay, delete everything. Yeah. Oh, it still doesn't like it. Maybe my uh, there's some uh, there's some syntax error here uh, that I don't understand why. And uh, yeah, but it looks okay to me. I don't know why it doesn't allow me to delete everything. And uh, hmm, that's strange. That may be like some kind of uh, subtle difference between the versions that uh doesn't allow me to do it but I will figure it out how uh, next time so um, yeah so what else I can show you here and um, yeah unfortunately I can't delete everything but I can show you that if I time travel back that before I insert any data oh it's not this is an error thing it's insert data yeah creating schema okay if Oh why? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is the last last uh, update. So it's like uh, create schema. So you can use this arrow key here. And if now I run the run the select query, it's supposed to show me nothing, right? So um, run query. Yep. It, there's no result because we have no data here. Okay. So this makes sense now. And yeah, they're free. Oh, we we haven't tried our branches. Okay. So yeah, we have a, you know, there's free commit in this branch. So let's see if we can branch, create a new branch. Let's call it a, um, so this is master. A new branch would be a uh, try, uh, try things. I don't know, commit message, just trying. <laughs> so create a new branch. And we have successfully fully created a new branch. So now we can change branch. Hey, yeah, that's cool. And uh, yeah, so now I can make changes to it. And then, uh, you know, uh, so I can't delete everything. So how about I delete, uh, I delete uh, just everything. Really, oop. Well, there's nothing there. Uh, oh, because I, yeah, I can. Uh, Oh, oh, that's so cool. I, I, I go back to like a uh, create schema, right? I go back to uh, to when I create a schema. So I have no data yet. So now when I meet, make, make the new branch, there's no data here. So if I go back to uh, go back to the master branch and I can, yeah, now I inserting data. So I'm like, like this is after I insert the data. And if I refresh now, then I should still have the stuff. But if I go to the try everything here, there's nothing because I branch it at the point that there's no data so there's no data here this is super cool this is like this is actually like it and um yeah so another thing that we could try is that uh, i see if i can find the query there it's actually in our uh, community um server here let's actually see if we can um have a look at this code it should be looking at all the commits thing. So let's, let's see. Oop. Yeah. So this is like, yeah. So what we did is that uh, we look at all the commits. So we have three commits in our, uh, in, in, uh, in the branch, I think. 
So what happened is here is like uh, difficult to understand uh, the tail, the head. Yeah, so this is pointing to some head. I think it's like uh, the two commits that we have and making the new branch. So yeah, so you can inspect, you know, uh, I can show you the query again. So yeah, you can uh, have a look at the commit. So yeah, you can have a look at all the branch and you know, everything here. That is uh, quite cool. So, um, so you can use it with Waco. The coolest thing is that you can use it with Waco. So imagine what you can do with like when you have an application, you can schedule to do a backup, a branching, everything like programmatically, which means that you can, what I, on top of my head is like, for example, you have a lot of uh, data that you gather somewhere and you can do your, um, you know, your cleaning and stuff like all done in Python, you know, your data manipulation, data cleaning. And then you can, uh, and then with the, with Waco, you can kind of uh, push it in the graph, updating it, or like you can create a new branch and update it if you don't want to um, mess with your your master. And uh, they could all be done uh, automatically. Like if you use Airflow or something, you can schedule it to be done like every day uh, in the middle of the night or something. That is, um, I think that's super cool. And the good thing about it is like, cause you can roll back. So if like, if the data, that you got from let's say today if the data pipeline there's something wrong uh the data that you got is uh, you know is, is contaminated and but it's still you know and you really want to roll back to to what's happening before today before the data coming in today you can you can do that with all this branching and you know the this stuff you can investigate what's went wrong in your data pipeline if there's you know if your analysis because uh, before when i work in in another company you know we have that data pipeline every day that's you know you have the data coming in, you know, uh, from from a very old server, um, and then you we we have all these like data cleaning um, script that's written in Python that is scheduled with Airflow that is running, and then uh, we 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 push it into you know the the, the, the master database, and then we um, you know do some uh, machine learning and stuff like that and generate a report, right? So sometimes we find out something wrong with the report and it's, uh, we want to see if there's something wrong with the data coming in. So this is super cool because you can go to different points at different stages of your data pipeline and see what's wrong and where the data got contaminated. And uh, you can uh, you can even like go back to here, run your query and you know uh, run your experiment, whatever, and uh, see if the result is expected. So yeah, so I think uh, today is a is a short uh, short section because it's a, it's a, it's a kind of like an unboxing thing uh, that you know, and we gotta look at all this new stuff that is available, and um, yeah, so I hope next week we can use it for real. We can use the new uh, new version of Waco for real, and uh, we would try something else. Uh, I'm still thinking what would be a good example to showcase this uh, super cool. Uh, time traveling feature we'll figure something out and um yeah so hope to see you next week bye